Hey y'all, this is a video specifically for Laurent. Uh, he was looking to use for each loop uh, in order to make three different enemies move. Um, so we'll get right into it. I'm just going to create a few sprites. Just make them small and just fill them in. They don't have to be anything special. And I'm going to just copy these, control C and control V, throw them out there. These will be the three enemies. And let's give them a behavior of bullet. That way we can see them moving. And if I was smart, I would have did that first. So it would have put it on all of them. So I'm just going to erase those and recopy them because it's faster. And bullet, we're going to just throw that speed down to zero for all of them though, so they don't just zoom off the page right away. And we have our three enemies that do nothing because we have no events. And uh, these are sprite fours. So we are going to... I added mouse already to my layout. Um, as you can see, it's not here. You type that, add it. It's right here. Uh, just so I have something to work off of. So I'll just use on click. And that'll get it started. So that'll be part one of my event. And then my action will be to call a function right here. Move enemies. Name it whatever you want. And mouse on click. So we already have the unclick. I'm going to call the function move enemies. And under move enemies, we will add a sub event. And we're looking for four each. And sprite four. Done. And this is just going to talk to each one of these since they're all sprite fours, one after the other, and tell them to do something. So we can go to, um, oops, we don't want that, we want sprite 4, and we're going to set the bullet so it starts moving, uh, so we'll set it enabled, and then we'll also set a speed for it since I set them to 0 initially, and we'll just set it to 15 so you can tell they're moving. And that's on left button click. So now if I click it, you'll see they all start moving. Can't really tell that for each is doing anything specifically because they run so quickly, they all pretty much go simultaneously. So if we look at these, we have uh, a unique identifier for each one, two, three, and four. Um, and I'm just going to throw a little time gap in there. Uh, wait four sprite four is the one I'm working with dot UID so I'll just grab that two three and four for each one seconds I'm just gonna minus one so it'll actually be one two and three seconds and then if you can hear me click waits a second goes waits two second goes waits three second goes and that is how four each works uh, I hope that is useful